and just one more for Roy. Um, what do you feel like is next for you at this point? You know, you've maybe got some criticism in the past for you know maybe uh, not mixing up your game enough, but tonight you got four takedowns, which is as many as you've got in your entire UFC career before this leading up. You threw you know head kicks and all that. What do you feel like you know the future holds for you? Like I said, as a fighter, I felt like I improved it quite a bit tonight um, to show you know. Um, I think, you know, just always improving. Um, for myself, like I said, after after this, I was going on a revenge tour. So um, I, ju I guess now jo Josh is also back on the list. Yeah, I don't think wins and losses really tell an entire story. And, uh, you know, if you need a heavyweight division to make noise, to be exciting, and to, to have perennial contenders that are going to always be capable of, of racking up wins and finishes, then, then you have to have Roy Nelson. Uh, people get hung up on wins and losses. You know, I lost my last fight, but like I said, that was not, that's not, my, that's not the kind of performance to ever expect from me ever again. And tonight I came out there and I gave my all, but it, uh, I was able to win this one, but for sure it wasn't any, anything like my last fight. And Roy's fight, um, you know, I'd have to watch our fight, but I think that yeah, he made improvements from his last fight as well. And if he feels as such, then, you know, I know that you can stick him in the ring with really anybody in the UFC, and they all have to, they, they have to, uh, to respect what he brings.